Hey everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm taking your remaining month of February reading start from the 22nd through the 29th of February 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's see what's coming up for the sign of Sagittarius for the remaining month of February. Before I get into the reading, let me remind you, it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. Um, you can also check out my sister's channel. I will be leaving the link to her channel in the comment section. So if you like it, do become a part of her YouTube family as well. So yeah, let's get started. Let's see what's coming up for Sagittarians for the remaining month. Um, I will be adding charms and uh, oracle cards as well. So stay tuned. Let's find out what are the energies heading towards the Sagittarians. Let's find out. Five of Cups, Cherapoid, Queen of Pentacles, I feel like um, your financial situations, no matter how, how it is right now, um, it's going to get better. As, as you move towards the end of the month of February, I feel like, you know, things are going to, um, no matter how disappointed you might be right now in, in, in that area of your life, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better and things are going to make you feel stable uh, as you move towards the end of uh, February. I feel like uh, for some of you, the disappointments that, that you might be having in your life right now could be about your love life. But again, Whatever the disappointments are, no matter wherever you are in your life right now, things are going to get better as you move towards the end of the month of February. So um, you are going to get back to the point where you feel stable enough in your life, in all areas of your life. It doesn't have to be just one specific area. I feel like overall your energies are going to get better as you move towards the end. Um, for some of you, I feel like, you know, you have come out of the, you know, that zone where you were like, you know, mourning on the loss that you might have had, be that in finances, be that, you know, uh, otherwise as well. Like, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, I feel like, you know, it's more of uh, you changing your focus to what you have than what you don't have, which is going to change things for you in your, you know, all areas of your life. And I feel like if, if you could, you know, see this uh, lady here holding that, you know, uh, cup, with the with the you know with the uh with the other tarot deck which is like you know the why uh, you know uh, right away tarot it's like you know always like you know where three cups are like you know uh spelt and two cups are you know behind the girl i feel like you know in this you know deck it's more like you know she's not focused on what what she has lost she's focused on what she has it's, it's more of the feeling where you feel gratitude of having what you have and you know um Knowing that, you know, good things are coming your way, having that faith, having that belief. And when you move forward in your life with that mental, mental uh, you know, prospect, I feel like, you know, nothing in the world can stop you from having what you desire. And that's exactly what's going to come through for you for the remaining month of uh, February. For those of you who... Um, who are still mourning on the loss that they might have had, be that about a relationship, love life, uh, home life, job situation, whatever it was, whatever you might have lost, bring your focus onto what you have, what you still got. Feel gratitude for that and move forward. The moment you move forward, thinking of all the things, the good things that you have and start being thankful for everything good that you still have, the, that moment forward, uh, you are going to attract happiness more things to be thankful of more things to be grateful for so that's what i'm picking up gonna happen for majority of you out there um so for those of you who are still like you know in that zone where they're feeling you know uh lost unhappy change your mind change your you know get yourself uh, doing something that that will make you feel uh happy uh, maybe spending time with kids maybe you know if you don't have kids around uh, you may go out you know spend some time in the nature that too is going to bring you back to your you know uh, your vital state of being I feel like you know you really need that boost of energy boost of positivity whatever that makes you feel good watching movie go ahead watch a movie but I would suggest not to watch any emotionally you know um, 
draining kind of a movie like you know a sad movie or action movie or you know anything which has violence in it don't watch those kind of movies watch a romantic comedy uh something that that makes you feel good um comedy movie would be good watch something uh that boost your um that boost your energy in uh, you know um in each and every way just do that watch some you know uh self help uh videos on youtube do something productive do something that makes you feel good and the more you're going to do that the more you're going to get reasons to be thankful for and i feel like you know as you move towards the end things will be pretty much under control Wow, you are definitely going to get into your, you know, the empress energy, like you know, the energy where you know that everything is now under control. Um, you will feel very nourished. You are going to feel the pull towards uh, where you where you just not nourish yourself as your body, but your soul as well. So doing the things that make you feel good is going to boost your confidence too. It's going to add more life to your life. It's going to add more. uh you know um positivity to your aura as well so again as you start focusing on the things that you have is the moment when you start attracting more of the things that you're going to have than on you know not having the things and then you're going to lose more things so just just know how it works and then start working towards getting what you want let's see one more card seven of swords um let's take one more card the fool wow 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 i need the deck to have the world things are going to change in your life um the only thing that you need to do i um hold on i feel like you know the last reading that i did for the sagittarians i did mention that um i did ask you to uh try something for a week time if you did wow like you know this is something you know that that's you know uh coming forward for you as you did try that one week thing that i mentioned earlier if you haven't watched that video go and check that video out and build the base of how you can have all that i'm talking about right now and i feel like you know i feel like for majority of you who are going to watch this you know even if you didn't watch the first part of you know the last year uh, that last week part I feel like you know you still are tapping into your power tapping into your you know um well-being and I feel like you know that's going to be the thing which is going to attract you uh more abundance plus it's adding new beginnings into your life it's adding more uh changes positive changes into your life which is definitely going to have a big impact that to a positive one in your life forever um the changes that you're going to do right now and the way you are dealing with everything that is happening in your life has changed you might have dealt with th certain things in the past with uh with the you know being very uh, immature i would say and now you know how to handle things now you know how to make every situation turn into your favor and that's exactly what i'm picking up here for those of you who have been single for quite some time i feel like you know you are now getting into um uh, um you are now ready or preparing yourself to be into a long term committed relationship as soon as you enter into the next month because i feel like you know you are still going through this transformation that is happening all around you like you know within you and all around you i do feel uh, a huge change is happening within you there is the, this you know it's it's more like you know you are um you are you know evolving as a person is what i'm picking up um you are freeing yourself from all the you know negative thought patterns everything that was not working well for you you are letting it all go and just allowing them good things coming in your way uh coming in your life i feel like you know there is this um on the deck you do have this if you could see the lady here the more abundant you're going to think the more abundance the universe is going to give you it's it's like you know it's what you focus on is going to expand what you you know if if it is love abundance that's exactly going to expand in your reality if it's like you know gratitude more reasons the universe is going to give you to be grateful for and that's exactly turning out in your life like you know everything that you've been focusing on is happening for you for for those of you who um 
To be very honest, I don't think that there is a single person out there who is still stuck in a situation where their things were not working out for them. You know, the, the um, how do I say it? Um, maybe, you know, the, the, uh, uh, what's the word? Hold on. Um, the progress might have been very slow for some of you, but you do know that you have progressed at least a bit. And keep moving forward. Keep continuing what you have been doing. And allow this change to come your way. And allow this change from within you so it can kind of you know reflect you in, like I said, the lady is holding a globe of light in her hand. And that's the same globe that's out, uh, up in the, in the sky, in the heavens. And I feel like, you know, the more you're going to focus on that ability of yours to... Um, attract more happiness more abundance into your life the more the universe is going to kind of you know give you all of that so it's high time you invest your time and energy into the productive things into the things that can make you feel more confident about yourself more empowered about you know uh about uh, about your life and just just rise above all your fears, all your doubts, all the negative patterns. Just continue moving forward with the with this beautiful energy that is all around you right now. Um, let's take some cards for your love life though. Because uh, it's, it's more of your personal thing. It's more of your personal growth that you're going through or that you will be going through in the in the remaining month of uh, February. That's, that's what I'm picking up from these cards here. Let's take some cards for your love life. Wow. Do you have three of cups? You are going to get lots of uh, reasons to celebrate. You do have the fool again. Your focus is pretty much on yourself. Starting something that you are passionate about. Loving yourself. Having that faith in your abilities and moving forward. You yourself is the focus right now for you. And I feel like, you know, that's going to bring you that, um, you know, that confidence in yourself that that whatever you want, you can have it. I feel like, you know, it's it's really good if you're not even focused on your love life right now, on your partner right now. It's, it's so important for you to love yourself and change the way you look at things right now. The moment you have done it all, will be the best time when you can have the perfect partner, you know, life partner enter in your life. So it's it's all good. I mean, it's all good if you're too focused on yourself, bringing the stability back in your life, bring, bring the, you know, bringing the, uh, you know, um, bringing that, um, bringing that change in yourself. And letting yourself evolve as a person so you could attract the right men, right women in your life. And be the fearless you. Knowing that, you know, with this kind of attitude, you can conquer the world if you want. If, you, if, if that's what you want. You know, just name it and you can have it all. So that's going to be the time for yourself love yourself focus on yourself and that's gonna bring you all the good things that you can think of and um wow just tap into your own power and that's exactly what's happening for you for the remaining month of february 2020 let's take uh, some oracle cards let's see what it has to add to the reading wow it's a beautiful time for you to have your personal growth evolve as a person evolve as a human being evolve as a, you know nurture yourself um your soul, your body, give time to yourself, do things that you like doing, spend time with your, your with your friends, with the people that you care and love, um, wow, for those of you who are already in a committed relationship, um, and if you have had some, you know, issues in that relationship, be that, you know, uh, recently or, you know, early, earlier as well, it's high time for you to understand that, um, you know, just start looking at the positive things that you have in that, uh, in that relationship. Maybe your partner loves you a lot. Maybe, you know, just start focusing on the things that are going so well for you in your love life. And the more you're going to focus on all those things, the more the things that are not working out for you will also start working for you in your favor. 
So just just know how it works and just allow it to work for you in your favor. Innocence. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with the childlike sense of wonder. And that's exactly what I just said. You really have to um, nurture yourself. And know that, you know, um, I don't know, with the innocence, it seems like, you know, you really have to stop thinking with the fool as well. Like, you know, it's, it's more of a new beginning of a lifetime, I would say. And, you know, just, just think of the good things only. Like, you know, just like a child would do. Until and unless you feed something negative to a child, it's it's like, you know, that's, uh, they're never going to see the negative until and unless you feed them something negative. So goes with you. The transformation that you're going to have, if you start focusing on the only good things in your life, wow, you cannot even imagine what kind of blessing that you can, you know, tap into in your life. Wow. I'm so happy for, for the Sagittarians. You do have divine healing. That's that's exactly what is going on for majority of you. You know, you, you know, like I said, even if you're not in a relationship with anyone right now, if you're single, if you're, you know, um, dealing with a breakup, whatever it is that you're dealing with in your life, the moment you start taking it as a, you know, um, as a part of your, you know, evol uh, evolution, I would say. That's gonna that's gonna change the outcome that you're gonna have after this you know breakup. Like you know if if you stay stuck in that you know disappointing, uh you know situation. If you stay stuck in that situation where you're feeling like you know uh hurt pain and you know you're feeling like you know um your girl cheated on you, your boy cheated on you, and if you if you stay in those negative emotions, you're never gonna heal from that. So just allow things to let go. Like you know just let things go and. Know that whatever has happened, happened for a reason. And there is a lesson that you need to learn. Maybe that person was not worthy of you. Maybe that person was not, you know, was there in your life to teach you something. And just try to understand the lesson of the universe that, that it made you have through that particular person in your life. And move forward knowing that you have learned the lesson. And now you're ready to be a better person. Um, now you are ready to be in a better relationship. Now you know what are the things that you need to do to have the perfect relationship in your life. What are the things that you don't need to compromise on just to be with a certain someone. And it's, it's again like, you know, the moment you free yourself from those things, like where you have to kind of, you know, struggle to struggle with your own self to be with a certain person because you love them. That's not what the universe has made you for. You don't have to settle in for less. And I feel like, you know, this this whole time period, like the last week and this week is all about that. You really are coming out of uh, that situation which was not um, helping you in any way. It's, it's freeing yourself from uh, from your limited beliefs, your situations that were kind of, you know, um, suffocating you deep down. But you were trying to make things work, make things work. And they were not meant to be because you deserve something better. You deserve something more meaningful, something more deep. So it's, it's again, allow this, you know, changes that are happening in your life and be thankful for the things that didn't work out because you have no idea what is coming forward for you in your life. So just allow things to happen. Honor your sensitivity, re retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Again, for those of you who have not being able to have a successful relationship know that they were not meant to be with you you deserve something or somebody better so just move forward leave the past in the past and move forward to have a better future spend some happy time with your close friends you know just party and now uh, you know just just love yourself value yourself don't feel bad for 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 being left by a person because if a person left you it's their loss trust me on that and just just Keep loving yourself more and more. And trust me, if you do that, you will have that person coming back to you, begging you for your love. And then it will be your own choice whether you want to give that person a chance or not. But whatever happens later on, the more important thing is you know your worth now. You know you deserve better. You know you don't have to settle in for less. And that's what the universe really needs you to understand right now. And for majority of you, I feel like you are getting your power back. So let's take some charms. Let's see what it has to add to the reading. 
Wow. So we don't have any alphabet. Do you want me to take some alphabets for you? <sighs> Let go of the negative self-beliefs, please. Because um, for some of you, you have that pull towards a certain someone from your past. You feel like that person is my soulmate. That person is not your soulmate. It could have been a twin flame. Even if it is your soulmate, it is meant to happen without you putting your time and energy into this person. If this is somebody who is mean, you know, who is meant for you, it will happen. But maybe the timing is not right yet. Maybe you, you need to learn some things. Maybe this was a karmic connection. Like, you know, you really have to understand the message that universe is trying to teach you right now. Don't put yourself in a situation where this person is treating you like a shit and you are still with this person. Know your worth and come out of a bad relationship if you have been into one. Don't go back to the same old pattern um, which makes you feel bad. Again, for some of you, you will have the tendency of going back to the same old pattern, but bring yourself back to the current where you know where you know that good things are coming your way, where you have the faith in the universe, where you have the faith in yourself, in your in your where you know your worth. Don't let a certain someone take you for granted. Just because you feel that you have love for this person and you allow this person to treat you bad, don't let that happen. Because this is not something what you deserve. This is not what the greater plan is of the universe for you. You deserve love. You should get uh, you know that love that you deserve. But for that, you really have to believe that you deserve that love. And if you do believe, you will never go back to the same old cycle, old pattern, which was not giving you what you deserve. So, yeah. Um, there is a strong connection that you feel towards a some certain somebody in your life. But again, this person, whoever it is, it's it's like, um, um, there is something alluring about this connection, but at the same time, there is no depth. There, it, It's more of a, um, what do you say, when, when you know, it, it looks so good, but it's not how it looks like. So just, just let go of that person, let go of that energy from your life. Just keep moving forward, don't look back. And once you keep moving forward, you will get what you what you truly desire. Universe is going to guide you through. Just just stay focused on uh, um, loving yourself more and knowing your worth more. You are always in my heart. Even if you feel like you know you have a love for certain someone, it doesn't mean that you have to let this person treat you bad. You can still love a person even if you don't talk with with, with this person. The love will stay there for you, but. Staying with that person who doesn't love you, just because you love this person, you are giving this person so much power on your life because it's, it's, it's again, it's, it's devastating for you. You really have to understand that. Being with a person who doesn't love you back or who treats you bad, this is not the right thing to do. I'm not asking you to stop loving a person. You can still love a person and not talk to this person because it's, it's like, you know, Talking to this person gives you a negativity in your life which you don't want, which there should be no room for uh, in your life. And you really have to understand that the universe really wants you to heal yourself first. Um, know your worth first because that's how you're going to understand. Like, you know, love doesn't mean that you have to suffer for a certain person. If you have love, that's okay. Value your love too. Don't, don't you know, waste it on a person who doesn't value your love. I, I, I mean, it's... Um, I hope you're getting my point. It's it's something that you cannot, you know, uh, have control over. But yes, you can control the way you are letting this person use you, abuse you emotionally. And you don't deserve that. You really have to understand that. Um, you really feel that there is a soul connection, but that's not the case. I feel like whoever it is that you have your, you know, this pull towards, this person is not worthy of it at all. <sighs> it's, it's again the same thing.
don't fool yourself thinking that this is your soulmate and you have to be with this person because that's not the case for majority of you who are st stuck in a situation and who have this pull towards a certain someone from your past it's just a mental block it's it's just stopping you from having what you truly deserve and desire don't let that happen don't let that person control you um for some of you you you, you might have been this in, in this on and off thing with this person but at the same time whatever that may be that you might be having with this person already uh, or you might have had with this person which made you feel like maybe there is this you know a uh, deeper meaning to this connection or this relationship um you are again not understanding the message of the universe there because because there is strong love and you know connection that you have with this person on a, on a soul level maybe but when it comes to the other person there is no connection from this person's side it it means a lot to you you feel so attached to this person but when it comes to this person they they are like you know um it's more like you know dragging a dead person with you and dead relationship with you where where you know that this relationship or this person is already dead and you are still dragging it to your karan and then you are dragging it to your future which means you are not letting go of the future uh, letting go of the past and you are just dragging your past into your future which is already dead which has no meaning which has no life and you are just spoiling your life too by dragging this dead body with you all the time so don't let that happen don't waste your energy doing so just let go of it and have um have the abundance that you deserve and desire so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for the sagittarians for this uh remaining month of february 2020 if the reading resonates with you to like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye